Uh, my name is Mike Ka'i, James Henry Kawai La'i La'i Tubbs, and I am from Honolulu, Hawaii. I am Native Hawaiian. Um, a lot of my work deals with contemporary issues that we as Hawaiians end up having to do with our, our everyday lives. Um, I don't use traditional materials, I don't use traditional techniques, but I am fully confident that I'm I'm guided by my ancestors to make the things that I'm making and sort of use their ingenuity um, and their concepts to form all the objects that I'm making. My piece, A Life of Its Own, was created um, about a couple years after I had gone to a party supply store back at home. Um, I was walking through one of the aisles and there's an entire aisle dedicated to plastic flatware. So it's, it's a huge rainbow of colors and so I initially got interested in it um, and I was pulled into the aisle and I just started putting everything into my cart. I'm like, this is amazing, you know, it's like, it's every single color of the rainbow. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And I was halfway through and I realized how disgusting it was. I'm like, I live on an island um, with limited landfill space. This shouldn't be. Um, and yet I was compelled to purchase those things. Anyways, sort of as a blind consumer that I've been raised to be. So I ended up getting those items anyways, and I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll figure this out later. Um, th this piece was actually influenced by the Woodrose Vine, which is from the Morning Glory family. So um, the flower, it's a big, huge flower, and when it falls off, the, the stem sort of recedes, and it, it, um, it opens up, and the seed pod inside is hard. So the whole thing looks like a wooden rose. Um, which is how it gets its name. Um, it was actually, it's also used for um, hallucinatory properties that I have not tried, <laughs> um, but I've been told. Um, but that vine I had seen um, around my island and after just doing some research, I, I didn't realize it was the same flower because I'd seen the, the dried seed pods in floral arrangements and the flowers don't, are just growing on the vine. So. Um, it is actually invasive on four of our islands. So um, this piece is sort of dedicated to the invasiveness of plastic in our everyday lives. Um, and I, I wanted to keep it really simple and it's very white on white just to sort of camouflage it, like how plastic is camouflaged in our daily activities. Um, and so it, it looks a little more aggressive than the actual plant does in real life, but that's just to sort of add to my own perspective of how I view plastic and how invasive it actually is.